Where can you get the best cut of steak when you're in Mickey Mouse's neighborhood? What about if you're a cowboy in South Dakota or a Kentucky basketball fan? Keep watching for the absolute best dining options for carnivores around the country. We're kicking off this list with the epitome of a traditional American chop house. In the bluegrass state of Kentucky, you can find Tony's of Lexington, where you can imbibe their impressive bourbon selection while enjoying the finest grades of meat in the area. The bi-level steakhouse feels upper crust, but not stuffy, with a mix of rustic and modern industrial vibes. This is the second Tony's in the area, and it sits right in the heart of the historic city, just an arm's length from Rupp Arena, where the University of Kentucky Wildcats play their home basketball games. You can begin your meal with fresh seafood, including Alaskan king crab and Blue Point oysters, or a savory beef tartare. The vino is flowing with an incredible selection of higher-end wines from around the world. If there are any non-meat eaters, they can indulge in a flaky sea bass or choose from Tony's rather impressive selection of perfectly cooked al dente pastas. But the must-eat here is the melt-in-your-mouth Sir Barton, a 14-ounce prime-cut New York strip. This is everything you love about a classic steakhouse, but with plenty of welcome modern twists. Jeff Ruby's Steakhouse has become a fixture in the current American steakhouse landscape. With five locations in Cincinnati, Louisville, Nashville, Columbus, and Lexington, they bring a certain amount of sex appeal to the classic chop house. The atmosphere is downright elegant with an unexpected amount of energy and live entertainment. It's that certain level of see and be seen that you don't often experience outside the confines of the coasts and their bustling cities. In addition to impeccable service, it's the food that truly brings people back. Meals begin with a selection of sushi, including toro and blackened salmon tataki. For the go big or go home type, the seafood tower will impress any date with live Maine lobster, red king crab, tiger shrimp, and a slew of other jewels from the sea. All of the restaurant's USDA prime steaks are cut from cattle selected, raised, and aged exclusively for the Jeff Ruby brand. For a truly opulent evening, try their Japanese A5 Wagyu that's sourced from the Miyazaki Prefecture. And the steaks can be topped with options that go well beyond the usual Bernays sauce, including sweet onion bacon jam and a bourbon peppercorn sauce. Simply put, STK is a vibe. It has outposts all over the world, but one of its liveliest locations can be found in central Florida. Maybe it's the warm Orlando air and the overall mood it puts its diners in. Whatever it is, STK at Disney Springs nails it with service, ambiance, and delicious drinks. This place is so much more than a traditional steakhouse, and this particular location features a beautiful rooftop, a standout brunch with bottomless mimosas, and an incredible happy hour with prices that'll make you forget you're at a high-end steakhouse. With an energizing DJ and a fun photo booth, this is a place where everyone feels welcome and comfortable. Meals at STK begin with sips from the cocktail menu, including the signature cucumber stiletto martini, and then there's the utterly delicious bread bursting with blue cheese butter and chive oil. Appetizers include their well-known Lil Berg's, tuna tartar tacos, and crunchy jalapeno pickled shrimp cocktail. The filet and the dry-aged Delmonico are the cuts of choice here, paired with family-style sides, including the inventive sweet corn pudding and the positively decadent lobster mac and cheese. And their signature bago donuts is the only acceptable way to end a meal here. Mmm, donut. Our eyebrows are raised and fingers are firmly placed in the upright position for this next one. The Michelin star awarded cut Beverly Hills is the peak of sophistication in the world of American steakhouses. This is the original cut location and it's anchored by celebrity powerhouse chef Wolfgang Puck. It's everything we'd expect from a restaurant smack dab in the heart of Los Angeles at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. One of the most sought after steakhouses in the world also boasts an environment with incredible architecture and art displays. Lavishness aside, the menu is worth a cruise down Rodeo Drive and the potential blow to your wallet. This place is a full-blown odyssey for your mouth, beginning with the must-have appetizer bone marrow flan. The savory marrow is served with a tangy mushroom marmalade that perfectly cuts through the fattiness. And if you're dining at Cut, you have to get a steak. It's simply non-negotiable. The cuts are globally inspired with a bone-in New York strip from Illinois, a dry-aged ribeye from Nebraska, and a Japanese Wagyu New York strip from Kyoshu, Japan. For a real party, the shareable 50-ounce gold American Wagyu tomahawk steak will set you back only $425. 
If you want a taste of cut but with more affordability, they do offer a lounge that has lower prices without sacrificing flavor. At Cut, we only use the best ingredients. New York is known as the city that never sleeps, and it certainly doesn't sleep on the opportunity to feed its hopeful visitors some delicious steak. Case in point, the absolutely top-notch Del Frisco's Double Eagle Steakhouse. In the heart of Midtown near Rockefeller Center, Del Frisco's has inspired a chain adorning its name across the country, but a pilgrimage to this particular location is a must for any devoted carnivore. It may not be the original, that one would be in Dallas, but the Manhattan place is oozing with a totally unique feel while honoring the standard of a traditional steakhouse. The setting is businessy for sure, with slews of traveling folks donning their finest suits as an upscale dress code is strictly enforced. I went out last night and had some dinner at um, Del Frisco's. Oh, nice. Once inside, you'll experience true excellence in the form of top-notch hospitality, a broad selection of wines, and all the comforts of a traditional steakhouse. Standout starters include the Dell's Jumbo Lump Crab Cake with Cajun Lobster Cream Sauce and a classic blue cheese iceberg lettuce wedge. The menu may not be as original as some of the others on our list, but a classic filet mignon or prime ribeye are dependable cuts of choice for a reason. They're perfectly paired with sides like shishito creamed corn or Brussels sprouts with smoked bacon, caramelized onions, and lemon butter. And if you're hungry in the middle of the day, their business lunch is a popular and affordable way to get a taste of this legendary establishment. We're now heading to the Midwest, where some of the juiciest cuts of meat can be found in atmospheres that feel the complete opposite of pretentious. Pierce, South Dakota is home to rolling prairies as far as the eye can see, and to Cattleman's Club, one of the best steakhouses in the country. Time stands still at this spot that was opened in 1986 by local rancher Myrol Arch. Not much has changed over the years, besides some expected additions and renovations, including old-school tables, flatware, and walls covered in Western-themed artwork. It's everything you'd imagine a South Dakota steakhouse to be, and then some. The meal starts with an iceberg lettuce salad that arrives with an unexpected tray of accoutrements to add. Speaking of expectations, yours will be blown away after just one bite. This is a no-frills place, so don't expect any Kobe hand-rubbed beef. Instead, you'll be downing fillets, a classic sirloin, New York strip steak, bone-in ribeye, or Myrol Arch's famous prime rib. The steaks are so shockingly tender and well-seasoned that you'll understand why this seemingly commonplace steakhouse along the Missouri River is a sought-out destination by visitors from all over the world. The next entry on our list has some star power, but it can't rely on that alone to be a standout in a city known for its incredible steak options. RPM Steak is the brainchild of American power couple Bill and Juliana Rancic, in partnership with industry heavy hitters Let Us Entertain You. It made its Chicago debut in 2014 and seamlessly found its home in a city overflowing with great steakhouses. But unlike the veterans in town, RPM was designed with a more upscale, youthful crowd in mind. At any given moment, you can peruse a menu of over two dozen varieties of meats sourced from all over the world, including a 20-ounce grass-fed ribeye or a strip steak direct from Queensland, Australia. Just as outstanding is the quality seafood selection. Noteworthy options include a coal-roasted king crab and a bluefin tuna sashimi with yuzu koshu and fennel pollen. RPM's chef-driven approach has landed it recognition from Michelin and a coveted spot on their shortlist of Chicago's best steakhouses. So it's delicious, amazing. It's not all pomp and circumstance when it comes to steakhouses. Some of the very best are long-running establishments with a local feel that one might even describe as dated. But that's fine by us. Once you peel back the curtain, you'll unlock just why they've been a success for so long. Located in Nashville, Sperry's Bell Mead is that exact type of gem. It was opened in 1974 by brothers Houston and Dick Thomas, and it quickly gained notoriety for housing the first salad bar in the area, a novelty at the time that's still a favorite today. The heavy, wood-covered, dark setting feels otherworldly and like a true escape from everyday life. Meals here still begin with a surprisingly fresh and delicious salad bar before giving way to the best shrimp cocktail in the area. The prime rib is a fantastic king cut, but an absolute must is the filet Oscar. It's a tender 8-ounce filet mignon topped with king crab and Bernays sauce. As you eat this one, the heavens will part and you'll hear angels sing. If you find yourself in Texas, you better be ready to eat some meat, and steak is often what's on the menu. In this fiercely competitive landscape, Knife has risen the ranks to become the premier destination for carnivores in Dallas. 
It's a trendy place helmed by the James Beard-nominated John Tizar, who's dabbled in TV on Bravo's Top Chef. Located in the ritzy Highland Dallas Hotel, Knife fuses the traditional chop house with a more modern sensibility. Tizar even traveled throughout the United States, experimenting with all sorts of cuts of beef to prepare for opening. The menu is expansive and steaks are divided into three categories, new school, old school, and exotic. You may be tempted to go right to old school, which includes the standards you would find in any steakhouse, but their particular specialty is using Tizar's immense knowledge of dry aging meat. Those efforts are on full display with their 240-day dry-aged steak. Sourcing is key, as they get their cuts from farms all across the country. Their burgers also shouldn't be overlooked, as they include inventive selections like the pimento, which features fresh veggies on locally sourced beef, topped with a soft white bun. And that's why you should come to Knife and have a steak. Burns is an American institution that should be on the bucket list for any traditional steakhouse fan. In the truly unexpected location of Tampa, Florida, you can count celebrities and royals among their clientele. It's one of those places that you have to see to believe. The dimly lit interior is both elegant and cozy at this restaurant that first opened its doors in 1956. Owner Bern Laxer was incredibly ahead of his time as one of the first to follow the farm-to-table concept as he sourced his produce from a local organic farm. But that's enough about vegetables, because you're visiting Burns Steakhouse for its outstanding cuts of perfectly prepared meat. And you can and should wash that dry-aged steak down with a glass of wine. Burns Cellar currently houses the largest collection of wines in any restaurant in the world, with over 600,000 bottles. All guests are treated to a tour of the kitchen and wine cellar after their meal, a truly delicious way to end the night. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite restaurants are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.